pretty detailed. Oh, let's get out of there. Wait, 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 wait. I had the, uh, the thing for this. Let's do it. Two, two, three, six. It's some, oh, acid rounds. I didn't think they were in this one, but they are. Police station map. A bit late for that, I think. Don't think I need that. Um, do I even have enough space? Yeah, I do. Acid rounds. I think they're... No, they're not. Flame rounds are good against the plant creatures. I think acid rounds are maybe just... I think they just do, like... I don't know, I always got the sense they did a bit of damage, lingering damage, but I'm not actually sure if they do. Uh, club key for that door. And we go down to the basement. <laughs> the music. Oh, there are dogs. If you listen. If you look <laughs> right in front of us. You can only actually shoot them from a distance there when they're standing up, I think. There's another one. Somewhere. What? Let's go in this door. <laughs> and they'll never get us. Reserve power control panel. Power can be routed to the areas with insufficient power using these five switches. Using all the power may cause a short and cut the power supply. Uh, it's a switch where you move it. You have to just... Um, so it's 36 on the top, 14 on the bottom. And you have to just uh, add them up to get 80, I think. But uh, I think it's just up. I think it's like down, down, up, right? Although, yeah, I guess you can do that in any any order, but unless it hits a hundred, then I guess it'll cancel. I think I can't remember. But we've done it. Police basement map, sure. Okay, I guess I'll grab the uh, herb just in case. Can always use them, even if you're on full health, so can get rid of them that way. Uh where's oh there it is. <laughs> Although as soon as I shoot, the guy behind is gonna yeah. Actually I don't think you go this way as Claire. Yeah, this is a big police van. Big blue SWAT van. Classic. Uh, that's like really old school, isn't it? That. Aren't they like the. <laughs> what, 70s ones or something? I don't know. Maybe they're not. I actually wrote a movie, a feature film, uh, about the Fomit. Oh, let's kill this guy first. Down, boy. There we go. Let's combine. Uh, car again here. It's electronically locked. We need a key card. I think this is locked. Club key. Autopsy room. Nice. Yeah, I should write a movie about the formation of the first SWAT team. Um, made in LA. Well, it's made in LA. <laughs> yeah, well, well, no, yeah, it's made in LA. That's the right thing to say. Uh, in the 60s. Um, 
and I don't know, I wrote it like seven years ago or something. Although it took like, well, we ended up messing around with it for like three years or something and shopping it around producers and stuff. Um, and the best thing I can say is we did manage to get Brad Pitt to read it, but <laughs> it didn't get made, so I guess he didn't love it. Um, but we managed to get, yeah, get people to read it, got some producers and stuff, but it's just like, and since then, I've had a lot of experience trying to flog scripts and it comes down to like tiny little things. <laughs> Like, it's really, it's really like the bizarre um, exercise, really. Just trying to satisfy that one person, but then you're giving it to like 100 people, and they're all going to point to little things that they don't like. And it's a lot, it's a game of chance, I guess. I don't know. We've got to go now, honey. Um, you know, obviously you have to have a good script as well, but <laughs> but even then it's like it's not enough. Um, I mean that script had a lot of flaws, but it's not that clear. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. My daddy. My name. Must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Wait, Sherry, don't go alone. Sherry, Sherry. I actually wonder about that film, that script now, because <laughs> the part of the problem. Oh, we're playing Sherry now as well. That's cool. I think she's actually like slower as well. To play a little section as Sherry. It's kind of funny how she just runs off though. <laughs> Uh, can hear the dogs. Oh, fuck off! Right in my face. No, no. <laughs> How is she not dying? <laughs> She's getting mauled by zombie dogs. Like cesspool. It says on the wall there. Pick up some grenade rounds. I'm sure she'll know what to do with them. She's still on full health. Well, not full health, but seven. At least, at least seventy-five percent health. <laughs> like she can tank hits. <laughs> so silly. I love how the dogs like skate around, slipping and sliding all over the place. But yeah, no, that that's that slot script. Um, one of the problems is that we were trying to like make it. No, let's not do that yet. Um, trying to like make it accessible, you know, like saleable. So just kind of make it more actiony than it probably should have been. But also, there are real things that we, I don't know, like, we're trying to just make like a, you know, an action movie that would sell. <laughs> but then it's, the problem is there's all the, the um, Black Panthers stuff and how you depict that and who you... Because, you know, it's all down to, like, a lot of opinion. Well, no, it's not really, actually, because the Black Panthers did do fucking crazy stuff. They did bomb stuff and whatever. Mm. <laughs> so, but then now it's, like, it's like the slight edgy political stuff that a lot of producers might not want to deal with. But then I think not having it kind of harmed the uh, the integrity of it as well. Um, and I think would have definitely raised criticisms, but then I, I think it's an idea you couldn't win with in a way. So I think if you did write it, 
because the thing is it's like you'd have to you kind of set up the SWAT team as the good guys because they're the people you're following so you want them to be you know it doesn't have to be that simple but like you know they're they're the protagonists and then the logical thing would be to kind of have the Black Panthers as the bad guys <laughs> but then that would draw you know a lot of criticism especially now so you know uh i, I like I, I wonder if we if it was sold like six years ago five years ago or something what the hell would be going on now <laughs> with it given the situation oh I, what did i do i found the club key okay uh let me go yes that's the beauty of Classic Resident Evil, you can just uh, escape through a door. Claire. Claire. Claire? Sherry, are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But yes, I but actually no. How the hell does she just throw some grenades <laughs> through the like a grenade launcher shells? The ventilation hole. Wait, Sherry, come back, Sherry. I mean, she's pretty, pretty resourceful. Especially when I'm controlling her. Ha <laughs> ha. Um. Precinct key. Can you give me the grenades? Thank you. Now, here's a weird thing about this room. I assume it's going to be doing it. It does on the PlayStation version anyway. That wall looks like it's like two feet away. And it's got some metal ramp. That's just like. Leaning against it, right? But if you walk up here, it's like Claire shrinks into nothing and there's like a huge light bulb the size of her head. It's like the, the model of the uh, room is pretty, is wrong for this picture. It's so weird. Kind of the funny thing about uh, pre-rendered backgrounds, I guess. No, I think it's a mistake. I think I think I think the model of the room is just like should end sooner than it does, but they thought it was like gonna let you climb up the ramp or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's just like yeah. You know. Anyway, um, let's use the grenades because. Because I know what's going to be coming. <laughs> Grenade. No, oh, there's nothing up there. That's where Sherry went through. But you can't do anything. It's, it's clear. So that's the thing. Yeah, that's why it doesn't make sense. She could climb through that hole. Because of the scaling problem. But I don't think that's meant to be the case. Shoot. Supposed to be a tiny little hole, but because of the wrong shape of the room, it goes weird. Uh, pretty battered, actually. Battered up. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's just slip through this door. Ignore the liquor. Of course, the autopsy room is full of corpses on the floor. <laughs> I don't know why they'd leave it like that. Da 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 da. Give me the gate system, raccoon police. 1990X0401. That's weird. Why would they do that? Is it like because the game isn't supposed to be set in a year? I thought that, I thought it was supposed to be set the year of the game came out, but. Uh, come on. 
Um, let's just use the grenade launcher. <laughs> Let him get close. I'll try and kill this guy with a pistol. Here he goes. Oh, that guy didn't get up. Lazy sod. Alright, well, we got the key card where we can. Go to that weapons uh, locker. No. Oh shit! You have to. You have to interact with this. Oh no! <laughs> Frames are passing by. <laughs> no. Yes. There we go. Frames. Hell yeah. Loads of pistol bullets. <laughs> Is there any grenade rounds? Okay. There's a machine gun in the side pack. With a side pack, I can carry more items. Will you equip it? Wait, I can't choose not to do anything? Fuck, I didn't want to take any of them. <laughs> I can't choose not to. Back doesn't work. Damn it. Because this is this is a choice that rolls over to the next game. So when you load the save as Leon and play Leon B storyline, because they're called A and B storylines, um, you'll only get the ones that you don't take. And you can take both if you want as well. Um... It's kind of annoying. I guess I'll take the side pack. What does he get? Shotgun. Magnum. Uh, um, Uh, I don't know. Oh, I didn't want to take any of them really, because it's. Better. I'd rather just save up for the. That was. No, let's leave it. Let's take the side pack. Oh, I can press no now. Okay. Okay, I'll do that then. I'm gonna save it for. Oh fuck off! I thought it was a different locker. Uh, I'll save it for Leon. Because it is a harder game, so... I th is there no grenades? Like, I thought that one of the lockers might have some grenades in, but... There's bowgun bolts, we're not going to bother taking those. Uh, and there's only pistol ammo. What an amazing armory. An amazing... Um, <laughs> run away. <laughs> Too slow. Too slow, zombie dudes. I mean, lickers. So we could open this with the uh, uh, club key, is it? Nothing in this locker. Nothing in this locker. Oh, come on. I thought there was something there. E Watchman's Diary. August the 11th. I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. Wait. Why? I was rep I guess he went on holiday, maybe? Is that what he means? <laughs> I don't know. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower, and there's only... One thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than that I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? 
September the 5th, I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. <laughs> he even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. <laughs> Does he have some sort of skin disease or is he just rude? Is it, I guess it's rude to scratch yourself grotesquely. But... September the 11th, uh, 9th. Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagine that could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. I love how slow the zombification is in this. Because there's that sort of famous diary in the first game where it's like, itchy tasty where you're just like his his writing descends into like nothing <laughs> like zombie words or whatever um over the days i was supposed to play another game of chess with thomas but we had to cancel it because he hasn't been feeling too well he stopped by to see me but i told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead he insisted that he was just fine but i could tell he was really having problems come to think of it i haven't been feeling too good myself lately well, he's dead now, presumably. Take the acid rounds. At least he could pass on something <laughs> to me. The acid rounds. Uh, um, should I take these? Um, I'm trying to think. So I can go through. I need the lighter, though. I can go through that door at the end of that corridor, the blue door. But actually, I don't know if this is the quickest um, save room to go to. Maybe I should have gone to the one on the ground floor on the other side of the hole. Oh, I don't know, man. Did I get both the blue pieces? No. No, I didn't. I got two squares and half the blue. Alright, let's put... Let's take this. I think there is a liquor. So... I'll take the grenade launcher. Just in case. Shouldn't have to kill it, I don't... Well, actually there might be two in that room, I don't remember. I remember it might be on the B game though. That's the thing. There's like differences between A and B. So, because if I play Leon first and then Claire second, her story is different. Um, like it has the the stuff with the child Sherry, um, but it has like extra bosses and it has items in different places and stuff. So, it's a really cool system. But you don't get games that do that, like that. Go that extra mile these days, really? Well, actually, you probably do. That's probably false. You you probably do. Um, they're just, I guess, not the type of games I play. Um, you probably get RP you do get RPGs. I guess like Japanese games tend to do stuff like that a lot, and this is a Japanese game. Um, yeah, actually, come to think of it, it's pretty much just Japanese games that ever did that stuff anyway. Like, you know, like the. Uh, what is it? Castlevania Symphony of the Night one where it's like you can finish the game with the bad ending but it's like half the game. <laughs> it 
if you get the good ending, or rather if you do the right stuff, there's like a whole extra half of the game. <laughs> and it's like, so many players wouldn't ever find that. And yet they, they put it in, and it's... Uh, that's a Japanese game too, so... Oops. Oh, I didn't get rid of the key! What a waste of space. Um. Oh, why did they detect me so easy these days? Fucking hell. Let's eat grenade shots. Oh, I'm still in yellow caution. That's okay. There is hard mode for this on PC and the Dreamcast version. And it's like kind of kind of tricky. <laughs> oh, I don't remember which ones. I think you do middle, left, right. Middle, left, right. Oh. Middle, right, left. Uh... Hey, there we go. <laughs> just falls out. What a trigger. Imagine triggering that up. Like, so just like a, I don't know, is that a mechan like an electric thing? There's just like wire through the whole <laughs> wall just to do that? I don't know. Let's not question. Let's not question adventure game logic. I'm going to take the red herb. Herb. Turned American for a second. Herbs and spices. Man, you could have like a whole cooking thing in this <laughs> series. <laughs> Herbs give you health. Spices make you fight better. <laughs> I don't know. You have to like cook. Cook food or something. What's that game? Cooking Mama meets Resident Evil. That's the, the combo we need. Um, try to think. I'll, yeah, I'll clear my inventory in here, and then I should probably save as well. has been a long time. Thing, don't need the lighter, so gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give me a health item, because I'll heal, and then... Don't think I need grenade launcher. Um... Wait, there's no typewriter here, is there? Shit, I don't know where. Alright, well that's not safe then. <laughs> um, I wanted to ditch stuff, but I'm trying to think. So, I need the cog, I'll use that. I'm going to use that. Precinct key. Oh, whatever. That's just it's quite a lot of space. This will be fine. It'll be fine. Because we can go up to the clock tower. My phone is telling me that batteries are low. Um, we can go up to the clock tower. Uh, oh boy, there's liquor <laughs> right there. Okay then. Uh, I'm. S I think we're the same speed. I think he catches up with Leon because Leon's slower than Claire. Actually, this is one of the funny things about Resident Evil games. They ha okay then. Oh, she. Okay, this is supposed to be one of the things that also carries over to the next game. 
where if you put the wire, you'll pull the shutters down and it'll stop one of the zombies going through. Uh, like, zombies going through in one of the corridors and not the other. But on the PlayStation version, I don't think it actually saves properly. So they just aren't there in the second game. But we'll see if that's the case in the GameCube version. What, what I am playing. But, uh, yeah. No, uh, the, um, I was going to say, I was saying something about the stand, sort of like standards that the game has. Like, women are always have a bit less health, but are faster. <laughs> and men are slower, but have more health. It's like the same in, like, Resi 1 with Jill and Chris. Uh, let's press the switch. I think it's the same in Code Veronica, but then also like the grenade launcher. Also, also girls get grenade launchers, boys get shotguns. <laughs> That's their rule, kind of. I think I think in Resi One, Jill gets both. Maybe I can't remember now, actually. Wait, we can't go. I thought we jumped down here. Did we not? Oh, we don't, because we've got the things. Okay. But yeah, like, uh, male characters never get grenade launchers. <laughs> it's always the female characters. But also the grenade launcher style as well. Like, this one has the three, like, shells that just, like, blow out of it on the ground. Whereas in Resi 3, it fires a straight shot like a rocket launcher. But then they went back to this grenade launcher in Code Veronica because that features Claire again. <laughs> so they, even, even the stairs, I think, in Code Veronica, you have to press uh, the action button to climb up the stairs. Whereas in Resi 3, they changed it so you could just walk up and down them freely. But then in Code Veronica, they went back to the pressing the button. I think because it's a Claire game, I guess. I don't know. So it's like there's like sort of like character um, <laughs> um Gameplay things, I guess. They're like attached to the characters. Oh, that was waste of shot then. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I wanted to run past. Uh, okay, well. Whatever. I didn't want them anyway. I need to get rid of the ammo. I should have just walked past, to be honest. Although they're a lot more swipey than I remember them being. Um, so, blue. I need to combine these. Man, the resolution, honestly, I, <laughs> my eyes are not used to looking at this cleaner game for Resi 2. It's pretty nice. Uh, I guess I'll load. in the... yeah I don't know, do I need, what is the... do I need this key now? I can't remember where does this take you? um... I'm pretty sure that we don't use it now, but I'm not, I can't remember where it's used then. Do, 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 do. Um. I think there's like a little boss now, which means I probably should have saved. I think it's okay though. Hey, clear. Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Oh, what a very mature little child you are. Um. Oh, 
put these in. It's kind of too bad you don't have to put them in yourself, like which order you put them in, because it does describe which order they go in, but it doesn't actually uh, have to do anything. Mail to the Chief. To Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. <laughs> I love those guys. Barry Burns, so cool. <laughs> if it comes to the light, the STARS... Uh, if it comes to light that the stars have any evidence to, as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact through this affair. William Birkin. Two, Mr. Brian Irons. Again, I have deposited the amount of 10,000 US dollars to the account for your services this term uh, this term, as per our agreement, the development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the Executive Board for Umbrella Inc. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Uh, Red, uh, Redfield and the remaining Stars members are still attempting to uncover information on the project, continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facility. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a problem. I have received information informing me that, that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are there are an unknown member of agents. An un there are an sorry, I can't read. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me, as it re represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through a net. With these precautions, any possible threats should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus, not even Umbrella. It's kind of weird that... Um, William Birkin is talking... is the guy that's controlling... Alder Wesker? Him, like, himself, rather than Umbrella or something? I don't know, it's a bit... Bit of a weird relationship. Stay here, Sherry. You're too slow. You will only slow me down. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. It's just sad. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why that's... Mm. Very sinister. It's too bad these sequences aren't really in the remake. Help me! Chief Irons is so... <laughs> so you creepy. made it this far. Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. <laughs> Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio-weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Is the genius behind the project. William Birkin. I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out. <laughs> that line on his back. <laughs> 
of the G virus. An ultimate bio weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Oh, I just can't take the pain. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. What a way to die. Ripped in half. Oh, I can't, there's not even a description. Uh, he's just got a torture chamber down here, like, what the hell? It's a saw. Fresh blood is smeared on the blade. Nice. Form, formalin, chloroform, and other chemicals. And skulls. You forgot to mention the skulls. Why has he got an actual dungeon down here? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, even just the brickwork, it's like, why, who built this thing? Let's go down the ladder. Oh, he got uh, infects infested by a monster and then it burst out of his chest. And this is kind of what burst out of him. <laughs> At least a growing version. Nice, dude. Um, so there's these little shits which are really annoying. Ugh, and they just attach onto you. Well, let me ignore it. Get off. Get off. Oh, it's dead already. Then. Thing. Oh, they do actually die though when you just throw them off. Twice, I guess. Uh, I don't think I can until I get Sherry. So let's grab her and let's leave, leave that thing. Uh, I don't know what it's doing. Withering away. That's a hell of an eyeball. Dink, dink. Hey, I do have a herb. What forward thinking? Oh yeah, the reason I had the club key is because I forgot to get rid of it, discard it. That's why. I was just I was wondering, like, where the hell would I use that? But yeah. Got to that Empress, yes, so. Case closed. <sighs> this chair. This chair kills me. Claire, you came back. <laughs> I believe the man who developed the G virus is actually her father. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. Uh, I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But don't worry, I'll protect you. Uh, I promise. But but you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Leon, are you still there? <sighs> We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right. Trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! <laughs> Whatever, Leon. He's just a rookie police. I like, see, I prefer his character in this one as well. Like, it's really cool how everyone just ignores him. Like, he's such a green, green cop. Everyone ignores him. Uh, 
Oh, I ran too fast. And then she just stops for some reason. Gross noises ensue. Oh, Sherry, come on, please don't sit down. Whoa. Nearly took my head out. 